Hello everybody and welcome back to The Average or welcome to The Average if you've never been here before. I guess maybe some of you might visit from other people's channels because this is the first time that I'm doing the YouTube Artist Collective as an official guest and I'm really excited and I'm so pumped to do this and um, yeah it was great fun. So this is what I came up with. This time around uh, theme was Versus and I was so stuck on this idea because I was like what am I gonna do? I don't want to do like a fighting game thing because I don't really like fighting games so why would I go for that? And then I thought I would do a city within a forest so it's like the cityscape kind of versus nature and then I thought that was a bit too ambitious because I kept trying to do that. I tried to do a couple of times digitally and I just like got really bogged down with the details and stuff. So in the end I decided to go with this abandoned house and the premise of the story behind this theme is that it's a mansion and people have taken over the house and taken over different rooms and they're all fighting over the house and I had a lot of fun with this premise as you can hopefully see with the final piece at the end but at the moment I'm just drawing out I found a house that I quite like the look of on Pinterest and I'm drawing it out here and what I really liked about this house is that it had all these like different style of windows and it just looked really run down and the paint looked really nice the way that it was blue and it kind of like oxidized in places and I thought that'd be fun to play around with and just do different splats of colour and shapes and textures and stuff and if you've been watching my channel for a while I remember when I first started doing my horror comic drawing these old abandoned creepy houses was something that I was really enjoying and interested in and it led to the inspiration of the horror comic so doing that was like a nice little throwback and I was like oh yeah I remember I really like doing this so so I just drew it out with pencil and tried to get all the proportions right and the perspective because I'm not amazing at perspective but it was a good thing to practice I guess and I know it's just flat on so you're like what perspective but there's tiny bits of like where the roof goes backwards and things like that and the roofing and just the lines of the windows and things that all look a little bit dodgy because I think I went a little bit too small with this illustration. I'd like to revisit this type of idea again and go bigger. So as you can see, I've just gone over it with Micron fine liners because those are waterproof ink inside because I'm gonna watercolor it now and make all the lovely colors. I think the one regret that I have with this piece is that I didn't really focus on the background at all and you'll see in the end piece, the final piece that is just kind of a gradient of green to blue and I wish I had thought of different things to draw in the background maybe just some pencil colors but this isn't an excuse but I've been pretty ill this week and I was just trying to catch up with my work and I've just started a new job I harp on about this all the time but <laughs> I'm just trying to get to grips with my upload schedule and things like that so it was pretty hectic and I was just happy to be drawing again because now I've started a job as a graphic designer again it was like, oh yeah, drawing, I miss drawing because after work I feel kind of tired to draw. I did this this morning so hopefully it's not too crazy and rushed but I really enjoyed doing this and I hope that the YouTube Artists Collective people uh, let me have another go at this next time or another time, whenever. And if you want to know more about the YouTube Artists Collective then all the information is in the description below and also links to everybody else's channels who are part of this collective. And you can go check out what they did with this prompt versus. And I can't wait to see what everybody has done because I was a bit stumped on this prompt for a little bit so it'll be interesting to see what other people have come up with. So what I decided to do, I've done a few like paper cutout arty things on my channel before and I realised that I really miss doing them so I wanted to do like a simplified version of that maybe and just have these kind of flaps in front of the uh, house. So it's like a doll's house exterior if that makes sense. So now I can draw inside each room what has inhabited and taken over and trying to claim the house. I thought I would try and make these like a little bit funny and cutesy so in one of the windows is going to be some cats in another is some witches doing sort of a seance or something um, is the word seance or i don't know hmm i don't know if i got that right they're doing like some sort of potion thing and then in another room in the bottom i decided to do sort of a hipster coffee shop because those take over a lot of places right so that's kind of a a joke and then <laughs> really funny joke yeah um and then in the final room i decided because i was super stumped i was like why don't i just draw myself like in the desk and have this sort of inception drawing me drawing this inside the drawing and um i'm confused but yeah i did that because it's like oh it's taking over i'm taking over the house because i'm drawing it huh get it 
get it, no one gets it. I don't think I get it. So yeah, that's kind of the idea. And as you can see, Pesto kept coming up to me and I'm like, Pesto, please. She loves it whenever I do uh, arty stuff. She wants to be in the channel. She wants to be the star of the channel. Pesto is the star of the channel. And this is her channel. I am merely a servant to her whim. Anyway, I, as I said, I was just room painting the background and this paper is a bit, it's supposed to be watercolor, but it's not very, very nice watercolor paper. I realized as I was doing this, but you know, it held the paint, that's, that's a plus and it didn't rip or tear. So, you know, it could be worse. So I just glued down the house and I penciled out some of the scenes that are gonna go in each room. And once I've glued this down, I go over each room with a micron pen again and I start watercoloring it. This again was really fun to do and I wish, as, as I had said before, I wish I had made the illustration a bit bigger so I could play around more with the rooms. But you know, I went with this and um, I don't regret it because I think it turned out really nice and it was really fun to play with like I said And I want to do more illustrations like this so I can just mess around with drawing lots of little tiny things and details and I don't know it was just fun to do and oh yeah, so I just I'm drawing the rooms here now and I think this is a really cool idea for verses because I didn't want to draw like I said the other stuff that I did and I'm really happy with the idea that I eventually came to. So I hope that you guys like it as well. I haven't really got much else to say about the illustration, so I will see you at the end. So as you can see, Pesto kind of liked my painting very much and this is the final piece. Once again, I really like the idea of having something that you can touch and manipulate with your hands as well and just like play around with and they can open and discover things themselves. I just really like it and I hope you guys like it too. I'm sorry that it was a little bit rushed just because of my sickness and new job and stuff but Hopefully you guys enjoy it and if you're new to my channel please um, subscribe or like this and whatever you want to do and I will see you next time guys. Bye!